Hello, good evening. How are you guys? How was the weekend? Today we are back to make your Sunday exciting. Hello, Tapeshwari. <laughs> Hi, Shivesh. Hello, sign of Barris. Yes. I mean, as usual, I'm sorry That's for being okay. so late. <laughs> You're not late at all. What's up? What's up? How are you doing? I am good. I am good. How are you? I'm Congrats, fine. by the way, on the Emmy win. Well, congratulations to you, <laughs> Vedant. You're the. This session is to know that exactly. You know how it all started. Yeah, I mean, uh, where do I start? Like, it's it's but, it's it's mental. Like, where do I start? <laughs> so, um, I believe you and Apu were the first ones to uh, read the script, the original script. So, what yeah. was your first reaction? Like the first, absolute first, you know, reaction to the story. Um, well, so I'll before I tell you like how I what happened when I read the story, I have to tell you like how we came about the story. Yeah. So, like, so I mean, like Rishi and Apu, ma'am, obviously had been like back in the day from they knew each other and they had like you know so a program had like put the put some of his films on on online and we met at nfdc goa for the first time uh that was like the first year that i had joined film caravan and a program was like you have to meet this guy called richie he's he's brilliant and have you seen any of his films so i had seen amal and i really liked amal it was yeah, like yeah. a very simple film a very simple story also but the way it like kept the reverberated with reverberates with the person or make the way they make it make you feel it was damn good and it had like some really really good actors in it so yeah, yeah. i really liked how he had how he had done the whole film and i was damn excited to see what he had and apura ma'am would never tell me what it was about she would just keep saying that it's it's the it's the delhi series it's a delhi series it's, and i was like what delhi series bro what is this series about i have no idea and then we met richi at um, goa he was part of the panel for india in a day and he said i'm just working on something i'm locking it and i'm going to send it to you guys in about a week or two tops yeah. and for the first time in my life you know week or two meant in a week or two because generally what happens is creatives tend to like delay deadlines a lot i mean i do it myself you know <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> yeah yeah so no but for the first time somebody who was a writer and who was a director said that i will send you something in two days and he actually uh, two weeks and he actually sent it to us in two weeks right. so i was like okay cool and so she just came out with a print out um and back in uh, back then our office was like just the two of us and sonali and a three four people like we just started out man like we had no idea um what we were doing and we were just looking for something that that you know we could actually because we had read a lot of stuff and i don't want to sound like a douchebag right now bro but it was i mean there's a reason why delhi crime got an emmy right and none of the other shows made it so Absolutely. we'd read quite a bit and it right. came in and uh, it was i think it was 140 pages oh for the first time like for the first time first time okay 140 pages of like a bible of a show and up until that point i had only read about bibles that every show has a bible blah 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 and this was one and it had it had no cavalte decorations on it it had no cavalte cover page it had nothing it was just it was like a word file a 140 page word file so anybody anybody who basically is a creative person who can listen to me all that design crap does not matter what's inside is what's valuable right and honestly when i saw it i was like theek hai this guy probably sort of designer or whatever i didn't know richie then so please if anybody thinks like just it was what i knew and i started reading and i read the first page and bro by the 10th page na i was like what is happening here right now bro what is this shit i mean it was matlab it was like watching some it was like okay so that time i had seen like uh, true detective the first season 
and i was like bro this is this is what it is bro this is what it should be like and this is what it actually can be and i read it and i didn't know this but apurva ma'am was reading the same thing in the other room yeah and trust me bro trust me bro when something wins an emmy right people have these stories that this is how it came to be and yes aisa hua tha waisa kuch hota nahi but this actually happened bro because i was there i will put my beard on the line if this didn't happen the way it did okay bro so i finished reading all 140 pages okay i knocked out like 10 cigarettes while reading it because it was that bad do i had like 10 10 yeah i had like 10 10 cigarettes bro i don't know how many cigarettes i have i had so many cigarettes and i used to have like these ice bursts so my throat was sore and we came out at the same time so she was in her part of the office i was in my part of the office we came out at the same time right and bro like i should not joke about this because at that moment both of us were in tears i'm oh not kidding God. yeah really? yeah i don't want to i don't want to i don't please don't make this like oh this was such an emo- it was really it was like that because moved you it you was impact you yeah yeah and obviously like you know reading so many like so by, by the way when i joined film caravan I, when i started to join film caravan uh they put me through like an exercise of sorts to see if i can if i'm able to do what i, I say i mean obviously right any but anyone would so i read like some 250 scripts bro i'm not even kidding all of them from fiki <laughs> yes yes yeah i know i know, I know. yeah i know, I know. yeah so i read that and every script right we there were some good ones and there were a lot of ones that were not so good but this one was like we had never read anything like this in india at least i had never read it and i i i have not been to a film school i have zero idea about screenplay i mean whatever i learned from it like the bible that richie wrote i learned everything because we read it and we were like bro ye to karna hai like we have to do this so the next one week we were yeah. convincing everybody to read it read it read it and because a lot of people were working on so many things at the time no one had the time to read it in the seven days but everybody read it and whoever read it right then puja ma'am read it then sanjay sir read it and we gave him like a full blown narration also of what happens sonali read it and pretty much yeah all of us were like just we read it and it was the same like they were shook and Everybody's it was reacting. yeah it was yeah. weird and then we were like ki this is something that you know this is something that that not only would 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 be a good story to tell but it would also be like a it would also make for a for a for a good series from india because one thing that we tend to do is we tend to take a lot of uh, we tend to take sides in 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 when we make a film right so generally in film it's like ye ya to sahi hai ya galat hai so it's very black and white right but here the here was a show where i mean if you guys have seen the show you'll know that not everybody on the force was perfect they had their own lives yeah. and they had their own trials and tribulations that they were going through so yeah for the first time like you know you saw police as real people and not just people who want bribes and yeah. people you know yeah. who 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 are in it for yeah. the money or are corrupt yeah yes i would not say i wouldn't say i would i wouldn't say that there were those elements there were like but that's the reality right so so richi and then i mean i was i was curious i was like how did he write this because the research was so in depth right and to be honest like then working on like delhi crime season 2 and when you go to like delhi to do research all the cops when they pick out these small details right they this one small i was talking to this uh, sp you know i think uh, vasant vihar police station okay or i don't i don't remember the name but it was something it was somewhere in old delhi i don't know man i don't know delhi that old well okay. yeah and and he was like you know like delhi crime mein mujhe ek cheez bahut achhi lagi that you know like aapne ek cheez bahut sahi dikhai ki police wale jo hain wo apni bandook bhul jayenge but they'll not forget their notebook and if you see the first scene where they enter the hospital right Right. None of them have guns on them. None, None of them are wearing guns, yeah. right? And yeah. that little detail, not many people will notice, right? But the right people will, you know, yeah. and they'll appreciate that detail. कि भाई पुलिस वाला अपनी बंदूक भूल जाएगा, but वो अपनी नोटबुक लेके नहीं जाएगा. And then I asked him, sir, ये क्यों? Like, you know, why? So he was like, कि देख भाई वो जो भी मेरी डायरी में मैं लिख रहा हूँ, that is my first report. तो उसके बेसिस पे I'll file the charge sheet. उसके बेसिस पे I'll the the trial will happen. उसके बेसिस पे everything will happen, right? So that is more important to us than getting our gun because we know we are seven people to saath hum log hai to wo bandook wala uske ache goliyan hogi nau goliyan hogi to koi na koi to but hum notebook bhul gaye agar to then we get into that position where the the prosecution might make a case that our notes were not right okay. and he was like bhai bahut acha that was very good and, and you know like every so it was really nice to see that richie did all of that by himself okay. 
all that research he was he spent some 3 years working on this and he met everybody on the police force and you know he told them that i'm going to tell the story just the way it happened and i don't i'm not going to take any sides and everybody was of the same opinion ki bhai ye ek aisa case hai jisko aap jaisa hua hai aap bilkul waisa batao because there is no need to kya bolte you know add drama yes. and richi from day one was like ki dekho for me the show is not about it's not about kya bolte getting a name for ourselves it's not about and again this might sound kya bolte thoda lofty but you know he said that thing on the on the netflix call as well that if one person can make even 2% of a change in his lifetime you know that person has made this world 2% better that's why i wanted to make the show and from day one all of us were in the same same yeah. area that this needs to be done just right True. so we and and everybody man in this it was not like i mean you know like i read the first script but i can't take any credit and i absolutely cannot take any credit for the way delhi came turned out because there was a team of people right like everybody from the a- so like i just had to sort of no but like i was oh no 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 my mom till date doesn't understand what i do she keeps asking me ki tu kaam kya karta hai film camera man mein so i can basically just say anything i want and she'll be like okay cool even when when we won the emmy she was like ठीक है बेटा तेरा शो एमी जीत गया पर तू मुझे ये तो पता तू क्या करता है मैं 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 सब करता हूं, मैं सब करता 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 चाय लाता हूं, कॉफी बनाता हूं, मैं स्क्रिप्ट्स पढ़ता हूं, मैं स्क्रिप्ट्स पढ़ता सब 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 हाँ, हाँ, यस एग्जैक्टली सो बट लाइक इम्प्लीमेंटेशन स्टेज ऑफ यू नो दीरीज so he he gave you these little little nuances and you know like a notebook carry karna or gun nahi carry karna was it him like what yeah. did he fill it no, out no 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 these see now the way richie approaches writing i mean i i one of the things that so one more thing that the show did for me in addition to like being an awesome show to work on and i have made some brilliant friends thanks to the show like i mean everybody who was in this crew is my friend and we hang out and it like you know we've sort of become like a family and all of us like hang out a lot chill a lot but this show also taught me how to like approach writing so if i can claim to be a writer today it's it's, it's very cringe to say i'm a writer bro because <laughs> whatever but like you know like if i can claim to be a writer today it's because of delhi crime and nothing else because because see what happened was richie sent us really exhaustive outlines of each episode i mean the reason that we were were moved so much by that first document that he sent was because it had so much detail in it that you could actually picture how it would turn into a screenplay these were not screenplays these were like imagine reading factual reports of what happened right they were written like that so every episode may how it starts how it ends how it starts how it ends including all the middle drama so we could picture all of that and just the basis of, of that eventually he wrote the screen plays right also this is i think this is one of the few series in india that has been written by just one man not counting the dialogues but even the dialogues that rishi put in his draft were actually quite good so i mean i don't want to cable to make any claims but this was one of the few shows in india that was written by just one man um i mean i was i worked on a bunch of shows afterwards like bahubali and stuff even there they were like one guy can't write the entire series and in fact But a lot of in his mind no he was must be so focused no 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 absolutely know. and that is why Aaron Bate Richie yeah. is the best director that i have ever seen do whatever i mean obviously his work speaks for itself yeah. now so i don't have to you know give these explanations but he knows everything so clearly in his head ki matlab you ask him ki bro this 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 piece of furniture right what color it is he'll be able to tell you what color it is he'll be able to tell you the what wood it is he'll be able to tell you like you know and when i first met him right when i first met him see meeting directors is always like thoda awkward because you don't know what they like and you know yeah. they might not like what you like yeah but the first time i met richie was when he came back from goa and uh, i went to pick him up from the airport because he was he was new and he didn't know where he would be I saying so i said i'll 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I do. I'm, I'm the, I'm the janitor at Film Caravan, basically. Anybody who's seen movies knows the janitor and what he can do. So yeah, I'm the janitor there. <laughs> but yeah, so I picked him up, and it was the first time that we got to speaking. You know, like not about work, but just it was like a good thirty minute drive back to where yeah. he was staying, and we ended up talking. And I asked him about the movies that he watched, and I told him like I love Amal, and I, so he was like, you know, what, 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 what movies do you like? So I told him, uh, dude, I'm, I'm sorry if this doesn't sound like the right. example but my favorite film is escape from new york and richie goes like what that's my favorite film too oh, and i was like bro and i was like bro bhai 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 bro. bhai you no know, I, i mean i don't i don't i don't say i didn't say bro bro to him because like i you know but like in my head i was like bro fuck this the, that film okay nobody has seen that film for so escape from new york it's one of the best films ever it came out in the 70s or the 80s it is crazy it's like the epitome of 80s action and to hear a director cite that film as his favorite film was just you know i mean these little things like every creative friendship that i have had whether it's with anybody it's those moments right when you talk and you realize yeah. that you like the same things is when the wavelength clicks with the other person and that sort of like helps you work together so that was my first thing bamsi is saying you're the boss vedan so you are probably no 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 wamsi is too kind with his <laughs> words but yeah so like i mean you guys have met wamsi for sure you know what wamsi did like so So yeah, then 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 after reading, Richie sent in those those screenplays, and to see how each scene transformed from the outline into like an actual scene with stage movement and 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 you know like character interaction and stuff, it, it was just like क्या बोलते हैं seeing somebody make a plane and then seeing it fly. So I mean, if you spend enough time looking at the machinery, and if you obviously if you have a mind for engineering, which I don't have, so I realize that this analogy might have been thoda half big, but please bear with me. If you spend enough time around the plane, seeing how it's it works, the engine, the wiring, pretty sure you can like you know make a Frankenstein version of that. So basically, every show that I work on in the future, or even now, I follow the same kya bolte layout that Richie followed because to me that was one of the most efficient ways of working. and yeah like that's how that's the entire process that i know is actually kya bolte reverse engineering richie mehta's process and i am not ashamed to say that so Absolutely. in many ways i'm like that pakistani scientist who re- reverse engineers indian missiles so that's what i'm doing right now <laughs> but yeah this, this next um, question is not um, you know like i know it in all technicalities it's, it's not a valid question but still i would like to put it across to you that did you ever feel the need to change or rework any part of the script mm. no no it have no 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 see because the thing was um the story it was it's a real story right i mean it's 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 real it happened yes we i mean we added certain elements of drama to the story for example Uh, that was that was that I mean, yeah. See, see. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'll, 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 I'll tell you, man. That, that's how it works. Because you see, I mean, people beyond a certain point are not police officers themselves. Yeah. So for them to follow all of that without actually having any emotional backing to right. relate to the character, I mean, how do you relate to a police officer, right? So we basically added those little little elements. So we changed. So initially, the first draft that had come in. the the names of the police inspectors and the officers were the real names because it was written like richie wrote it as a true crime thing so he didn't change right. any of the names right. uh then richie also said that but we need some drama and then even the producers thought that we need a little bit more drama to so like make the characters a little bit re- relatable so like you know chandni's whole dynamic yeah. with vartika uh, yeah. is fictionalized bupendra's क्या बोलते हैं पर्सनल लाइफ एंड दीज लिटिल लिटिल थिंग्स आर यू नो जस्ट सो दैट यू कैन ऐड अ बिट मोर ड्रामा टू इट बट बाय एंड लार्ज प्लॉट वाइज इफ यू वांट टू नो इफ वी चेंज्ड एनीथिंग फ्रॉम हाउ इट हैपेंड नो बिकॉज़ फॉर एग्जांपल अगेन दिस वाज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट सीन्स टू शूट एंड दिस वाज क्या बोलते हैं आई एम श्योर एनीबॉडी हुज फ्रॉम द एडी टीम या कमिंग टू दैट व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हिच एस्पेक्ट डू यू थिंक वाज द मोस्ट चैलेंजिंग इन द सीरीज व्हेन यू वर शूटिंग I mean, not shooting because I honestly, uh, the way I work is like if I do my job correct, I would, I would, I would never go on set. Uh, yeah. I don't like going on set because I've seen sets and I've seen how set life is and it ain't for me. I like writing. I like sitting in my room and just you know looking at my charts and my books and stuff. I do like going to the field, but not going to the set. I go to the set to just chill with probably chill. like Ajitesh and to and, trouble. 
yeah absolutely absolutely and to kya bolte and sometimes just stand in middle of the camera in the frame so the director can shout out who is that who is that idiot get out of the frame you know <laughs> shit like that but normal stuff normal stuff but but yeah right. so i mean for me one of the most uh, the, the most difficult things to do was uh, once we decided that we will be doing this and once we decided that this is happening one way or another we wanted to go for 100% accuracy Yeah. so we decided that whatever statements have been logged right those statements should be put wherever we can so for example when you read the scene where the doctor describes the report to the police right uh, now if you're a dialogue writer or if you're a writer you you'd realize that that's not how a character would speak you know like if the doctor was a fictional character he would mm. not speak the way the doctor in delhi crime spoke Mm. but we knew that this doctor was not a character it was a real person and right. this is what they said right. so once the entire screenplay was written once the dialogues were done basically i along with adya shreya and ajay sat down so four of us sat down with all the episodes and we had a 3500 page verdict on the case so we actually cross checked every dialogue in the script with the statements in the verdict because see these things happened no these things happened and 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 there is no point to sensationalize someone's misery or someone's pain and best you can do is ki bhai you see this and you realize that bro this is what happened and this is what this is the absolute depravity that men can get to you know but there's also a glimmer of hope in in officers like chaya sharma in like rajinder singh you know the guys who and and even the small beat constables right Yeah. for example i i was in delhi doing research just recently and yeah. i met a constable and the constable said ki delhi crime bahut acha show laga mujhe to maine bola sir aapne dekha hai maine bola ha ha maine dekha i have a i have a plan mere phone pe and i, I have it my whole entire family has it and i just want to uh, i just want to say that for the first time you guys showed the constable's life yeah. like as real as it can get so yeah. i'm like nahi sir season 3 mein season 2 mein all seasons like you know delhi police we love you you know like with you for you always so yeah i mean it, it's and it was one more thing was the 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 resources that we had on hand like neeraj kumar who was the commissioner at the time um and and and, and neeraj kumar was like really really helpful with his uh, story inputs and even chaya sharma was very very forthcoming um yeah. we also made sure that in order to just get a, another layer of kya bolte sensitivity yeah. uh, we also took help from uh, deepak and we actually narrated the entire series the story to the parents just to get their go ahead on everything and we just wanted to just know, just to know that you know it, it, this is what we are doing right. this is how it will be shot nothing will change do you think we have been insensitive or do you think we have yeah. you know wow. not done justice so they gave us our blessings and that is how we knew because everybody who was involved in this show from the spot people to like the main heads everybody knew that this show is a one of a kind and probably we won't work on another show like this ever again i for one i don't think so the way the way delhi crime happened even today like we just keep reminiscing about the way things happened for me not on the set more like behind the yeah. development yeah. side and for the people who were on set you know i was on set though for 7 days by the way i should say this um, yes, i can't i can't tell you what i was on set for it was a top secret mission that has been classified I, at the I, highest I, levels you know you were troubleshooting <laughs> yeah 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 so the, the guys who were on set no i was there and yeah chill bro <laughs> they know that's an inside joke that's an inside joke i was really cool um so after the sh- after the sh- uh, the shoot was done um we made shirts for everybody like everybody would have their own kya bolte phrases that they would use right on set really? so oh, all really? of us yeah 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 vamsi well, didn't tell you this we would love to know he didn't no so so no so i mean like vamsi had way bigger things to worry about than than I what's know. happening with the Holy shirts <laughs> yeah out. yeah um but yeah i made some really good friends and and, and so like ajitesh you know right uh, big shout out to my brother the other sharma son uh, he and i so became he, good friends he's asking you to reveal your location that was his first uh, comment nah ajitesh no no, yeah. no 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 location reveals bro 
screw that no but like agitation i would end up kya bolte because we were we were we were bundled together in a room when we uh, we were there so that's how we became really good friends we would chill till like 6 in the morning we would see like movies and stuff it was it was fun like you know, it was the first time i was on set and i saw the 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 camaraderie on set and you know how everybody had everyone's backs yeah there were a lot of problems happening every day but everybody had everyone's back like you know um the, one of I the, call it the- the delhi crime yeah i mean like so everybody said one line to me that i always remember like everybody yeah. like mamsi said one thing that i always remember ajitesh said something that i always remember richi said something that i always remember as she was ajitesh uh, told me ajitesh one day there was some like big problem happened on set and ajitesh everybody was speaking out right and ajitesh it basically came down to ajitesh ki bhai ajitesh you were the point person on this what happened and ajitesh said theek hai na bro problem to ho gaya na problem to hota rahega how do you get on with the show even though there's a problem right and you know i never said this to his face but that actually left a very lasting impression on me because yeah he's right right i mean you can either freak out in the moment and freak out or you can actually be like dude how do we get and how do we move forward from this and the crazy son of a bitch actually did it he actually solved the problem and as a result everything went smooth so that really day when he came back to so when he came back to the what what brilliant romance no i'm not saying it's the truth it's the truth uh because 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 he was like kya bolte hain and then he came to uh, came back to the hotel that day by the way mother- my calling me right now i have no idea it's my mom again and i will call it's probably like i don't know she probably asking me if i eaten food but yeah this is important so, yeah yeah evening evening call yes 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 so so yeah so so then then he came back on madhuban peppermint man that day he was like a total hero because he was like yeah bro i solved it and shit like that so that and then you know like it was good but what uh, did you say could you tell us could you share oh no us? some of them are like some of them are like kya bolte really no no some of them are like really kya bolte good good stuff some of the some of the i can't share most of a lot of it was criticism also uh, so it's all good but yeah like everybody said yeah. things on set that have been with me to this day and you know like i try to incorporate those lessons into my own work um yeah obviously i haven't been doing it for the past year because we've been under lockdown so like this 2020 anybody do, 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 don't 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 the, the conduct of me in 2020 is not representative of the product that i represent just i just want to say that 2020 <laughs> is a messed up year dude but yeah, like yeah 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 no 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 dude it's it's been horrible it has been horrible 2020 has been absolute crap but one of the rays of sunshine for this would would definitely be you know delhi crime winning an emmy because man uh people have i've never seen people work this hard in in my life in my life i i am not this is not one of those things that i'm saying ki bhai hum emmy jeet gaye to ab main ye bol raha hu kyunki main bol sakta hu but even if we didn't win the emmy even if whatever bro i have never seen people work so hard in my life ever and like there were such less uh, prep time like considering such less prep all time. of that all of that put aside but the way that everybody was working on set i have not seen people work this hard um i mean there were people on set who had like one and a half hour sleep and then they would go on another shift uh travel time was crazy because like wamsi said in the live you know delhi was our set so like you know we were traveling like these guys were traveling all over set all over all over the city and i have never seen in the seven days that i was there i had new found respect for everyone also because i didn't know a lot of them because when delhi crime cup prep was happening i finished whatever i had to do and i had to go to hyderabad for like six months so i was not keyed in on the proper product pre production of it but when i went on set you know I was on some groups that they would keep messaging on, and you know I knew okay, well, Amsi is the first AD, Ajitesh Karke, there's this dude who's the you know AD and like Paris, the DA, all that stuff, right? And uh, when I went there and I saw these guys working hard, and I was like, bro, I have like this is next level. And I, or to be honest, like again, I just want to put this on record: if I was an AD for Delhi Crime, even an intern, I don't think so. I could have delivered. I would have cracked under pressure. I would also like this to be a part of record. Uh, so yeah, it actually goes to show each and every one of these people. What they say. determination and grit to make this happen absolutely. and obviously the, the cha- sorry it's the, the, like you know it's a puzzle like i shared uh, earlier on you know with with uh, in my chat that each and every part like you know you reading the script for the very first time and you know of course along with the entire team and everybody in the office it really kick started something that you know is there to see for all of us you know something that really yeah. gives hope 
know, more than anything else, and yeah. uh, it really redeems the belief in the system, in the in the in the police, in the Delhi police. You know, like yeah. whatever has been done. Like the show is not about the incident; it is about you know uh, the uh, you know this this whole bunch of people who are determined to find those people, determined yeah. to bring justice to the to the incident that really happened. Yeah. No, I mean, and yeah. every at every step of the way, you know, that it it found its champions. It found its क्या बोलते you know people who wanted to see this happen. Um, like uh, first of all, I mean, like Apurva ma'am, Pooja ma'am, Sanjay sir, these three guys, and then uh, the Golden Caravan guys, you know, like Aaron Kaplan, Florence, and Jeff, and Harry, and all these people, and coming together to form a new enterprise called Golden Caravan that would do like series. You know, it was it was it was good to be a part of this. all of this you know i mean i i had zero kya bolte say in any of this this was all them but even to be a fly on the wall at moments like these you know to witness something so monumental and something so cool and just be like It's big bro, project you know and everybody yeah. even the bit of it is so important to kind yeah, of yeah and i was like bro I, i read it and you know i read it first and i'll always have that so for me more than the <laughs> me is just that yeah, you know i read it <laughs> yeah, I mean, I read it first, and you know, it was cool. It was cool. And <laughs> Apurva ma'am read it with me the same <laughs> day. Yeah, like we all are growing a little. Of course, nothing like compared yeah. to what you guys have kind of you know um, really put it out, put out, put out to all of us. But yeah, a little bit yeah. everybody wants. <laughs> <bought it. laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was, it was cool. It was like it was, it was one of the best experiences of my life. And everybody who worked on that show. It went on to do great things, and I'm, I'm, I can, I can bet all my bottom dollar that everybody involved in the show will go on to do way greater things, and I Absolutely. hope that one day each and every one of us has a Delhi crime that is entirely our own, from the yeah. guys who were doing first AD, second AD, everybody. I hope we all of us have a Delhi crime that is our own. If now, if we don't, and if we don't, we will always have this. So absolutely, that. absolutely. Yeah. Also, so you know, it was true. Uh, Vinod, as a writer, I want to ask you: Is there a perfect script? Is is have you come across? I mean, of course. Oh yes, Delhi crime. Delhi crime. <laughs> <laughs> Besides Delhi crime. Uh, I know for Pooja, before DC happened, you know, she told me Game of Thrones is like the perfect script for me. It's like the perfect story. Yeah. And for me, I was like, "What's the fuss all about?" And when I actually saw it, I knew. I mean, I understood what she was talking about. I mean, uh, so I'll tell you like I don't know the script, but I'll tell you the 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 best film from India that I have seen in my life, and I mean I don't know, man. Like I don't know if you guys will go watch this film, but please watch this film because this film was years ahead of its time. It's called yeah. Loins of Punjab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh okay, my God. dude, that film is crazy. I saw that film uh, on Z Studio. They used to run these independent films on Z Studio yeah. at night, ग्यारह साढ़े ग्यारह बजे के बाद, and I saw that film. for the first time in nagpur yeah. and i was like bro this is the kind of film cuz you know a lot of people say like indians like hum log india mein i mean again bro tumko mere ko twitter pe ja ke phansi lagana hai dena hai de do i don't care but indians can't do comedy like our comedy is not like how the comedy is in the west yeah. you know hai bhai jo hai wo hai i'm not saying we don't make good dank memes we do but that's not the mainstream of comedy right but like loins of punjab had this kya bolte very american humor to it and it was making fun of things like 911 paranoia racism and you know like desi culture in america and 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 to to have that film come out in 2004 5 6 mein wo film aayi thi it was brilliant and but the one sad thing about that film was the director of that film manish acharya sadly passed away uh, you know because i would have loved to see what more he could have done had he given been given you know more more time you know and, I, and the reason i said loins of punjab is because i read one more script that that manish acharya wrote and i remember thinking to myself well, this movie is like zindagi na milegi dobara meets dil chahta hai on crack like it was so funny <laughs> i yeah it was so funny i mean i remember laughing while i was reading the script and i, I always say this that if a script can make you react on the spot To whatever you're reading, and not something that you file away and come back to later, that is a very good cavalte rule of thumb to 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 say if script is good or bad. If it can make you react while you read. Piece of advice. This is really really um, uh, you know a very like uh, an advice that should be applied and should be kind of you know followed in your own life. I mean, thank you, Vidant, for sharing this. <laughs> no, 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 with it's it's. Us. 
so yeah uh, so that that, that makes you react while reading is definitely yeah yeah also this don't do this but like i mean if you can skip through 20 pages and still figure out where the story is headed then the screen plays good also no seriously i, I try no, if you can if you can skip 20 pages and if you can still figure out the story and you know where it's going then yeah then 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 maybe you do another read through and have the 20 pages but it's a good thing because screen play mein everything is like kya bolte one after the other so if mm. you just skip a few you can still catch the stairs and if you can it, it it works for me man i i do i would not recommend this particular method but yeah so so that yeah. that's that that was delhi crime dude that that's what happened and i would just like to thank film caravan also i don't know if you guys know this but i started at film caravan as a subtitler the only guy above me literally was the guy who used to bring the only guy below me was used to be the guy who used to bring peon and like film caravan gave me this crazy opportunity to like work and you know i was really scared initially but then you know the, the people that i worked with like sanjay sir apurva ma'am pura ma'am also they were like really really kya bolte more like mentors really not bosses really chill people um so yeah and i haven't like, been paid yeah, to say that this is actually comes from the heart so if anybody was thinking that screw you <laughs> no no i'm saying that all all of them have something up there like something is like you know like there there is something crazy about all three of them which yeah is... actually actually you know i have i've seen this so like sanjay sir is like so it no it's actually really really helpful because at film caravan we have like three perspectives you know like three perspectives for each because sanjay sir is more of he likes more mainstream cinema he he says it like you know for me some of the like he he also like you know he grew up watching all the 90s cinema so he likes that whereas pooja ma'am has a more kya bolte american bent whereas apurva ma'am is fully indie so actually when you look at it when you look at all three perspectives by themselves they sound silly but when you are looking at from a project perspective you actually get three perspectives you get the mainstream indian perspective you get the american perspective and you get the indie perspective which i think like delhi crime is i yeah. mean delhi crime balances all perspectives equally yeah and that yeah. is why i feel like you know film caravan gk works so well <laughs> so yeah I, yeah plane you know with this with delhi crime it brought everybody on the same plane with their own sensibilities yeah you know, yeah, you know. yeah. No, what uh, I like to say is they they have their own wavelengths, and when it comes to making a project, they all sync on those, yeah. and it, it, it it's magic. Actually, I I can't tell you some of the things that I have seen when the way these three click, right? It's it's damn good. It's it's cool to see. It's Draw fun. Home the- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if you can, I mean, okay, thanks so much, uh, Vidhan. But just before we end, I wanted to ask you if you can reveal. um uh what is it that you're doing currently what is it that you're writing currently wow oh, uh, uh, i don't know bro this was not discussed the question like i don't know you would ask me this like i don't know do i say, uh delhi crime 2 obviously don't put my job in jeopardy no i'm kidding i'm kidding no 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 i'm kidding i was just kidding delhi crime 2 obviously um i did research for that uh we have a new crew this time we have a new showrunner we have a new team of writers um so it's going to be different and but it's going to be nice because i i i i mean it, it's the it's another it's a real case based on a on a real case uh, of the delhi police and uh, yeah it's it it was different working on this and different working on that but both of them were nice experiences so Possibly the delhi crime to not everybody and, was being and then i've written a screenplay during lockdown called the assassination ah. of homi baba um which is happening right uh, last i know but the money came in so i'm chill now <laughs> and yeah i'm just like writing stuff i also try to take classes but recently i have not been able to because bro ah, it's just too much stress and too much kya bolte fatigue and stuff like that so yeah so you're ending yeah and you i yeah. believe you take classes as well like you are a teacher yeah like yeah a yeah yeah i've not been a very good teacher recently though i have not been able to take class because of work and because of like so i like to think yeah. like teaching is like my side job uh, and yeah. writing is my primary job so sometimes teaching suffers in favor of writing but then again uh, sorry guys if anybody from isd sorry isu <laughs> is listening uh, sorry guys i'm really sorry That's anyway okay. Okay, we will look yeah. for you amazing anandita patil so i'm just like kind of going through the quest the comments and uh, yeah i can't see any comments i can't <laughs> see any comments no <laughs> you're always in our heart 
Jasmine Madhok says yo. Oh, um, they 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 just they just they just they just chill people. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Yes. We don't have to read comments. So it's cool. It's cool. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, Namrata ma'am, for like you know. Thank you, Vedant, for yet again giving such a fantastic session and uh, you know really sharing with us your first reaction. And uh, we hope to see your future projects uh, also in the same fashion, in the same way. And I'm sure it will. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Mom. I will. I will. She's gonna be so <laughs> mad at me. I will see you guys. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye.